All right, what's up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world today. I thank you for tuning in today. I know you guys are probably looking at me on the video going, whoa, he is bright today. Yes, I am. I am wearing, for those that are on the audio that cannot see me, a bright, burnt, orange, yellow hoodie. This is dedicated to my son because he basically bought me this, and I wanted to wear it and show it off for him. Here you go, son. Just for you, Terrell. Love you, son. All right. Yes, I had to go grab my Charger hat. And if you're not a fan, it's all good. I support whoever you support, especially those of you that are of the Raider Nation. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's move on. Let's go to 1 Peter 4.10. I got a couple of versions I want to read for you today. The first one is NIV. And this is in reference of service. But I'm going to entitle this, How May I Serve You? So you know exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, 1 Peter 4.10 NIV says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. The other version I want to read is NLT, where it says, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve others. So now you see why I'm talking about how may I serve you. You should have this frame of mind in life, whether you're in community service, whether you're in ministry, whether you're in sales, whether you're in real estate, doesn't matter what form of work you are a part of. Your mindset should be, how may I serve you? Take the focus off of yourself. Put it on other people. You'll be able to go a lot further when you help a lot of people. And I think I stated this once before, the business that I used to be in, their focus was the more you help people get what they want, the more you get what you want. Now, that's a different type of version, but that's kind of the gist of what I learned over the years in sales. God has uniquely gifted each and every one of you. Whether you believe that or not, you all have been gifted with a unique talent, a unique gift that God has given you just for you. So when you start worrying about people coming in, trying to take your position, trying to come in and take your job, trying to come in and take your level of status of management, no one can do what you do. No one has been equipped with the gift and talents that God has given you. He has created each and every one of us with talents and abilities that are unique. He's created us in his image. So that basically means that we are definitely made in his likeness, but we all have different gifts and talents to use for him. As you look at people that God has placed in your life, can you identify with any of those people that God has placed in your life, how each person has been gifted? If you look at them, and you watch them for a while, can you see the kind of gifting that God has placed in their lives? How can you help them to develop that gift? How can you help them to develop the talents that God has given them? There's a lot of young people that can sing. There's a lot of people that do poetry. There's a lot of young people that can write. There's a lot of young people that can draw. There's a lot of young people that are musicians. Whatever their talents are, can you see that talent in them? And instead of squandering their talent, saying, oh, you'll never amount to nothing. Oh, you'll never be anything. Stop right there. Pause. Don't discourage a young person's talent and ability of creativity. Don't do that. You are minimizing their abilities to be who God has created them to be. What you need to do is tap into what God has designed for them, God has created for them, God has placed in their life the gift and talents that they possess. Tap into it and then help them 
Push them along the way. Give them the encouragement they need to use their gifts and talents. It might not be what you can do. It might not be what you like, but it's not about you. It's about them. How may I serve you? How may I serve them? This is the attitude that we need to have. All too often, people are discouraging people because they don't understand their gifts. They don't understand their talents. Well, it's not for you to understand their gifts and talents. That's their gifts and talents. Use the gift and talents that God has given you and then turn it around. How may I serve you, how can I make your progress easier? How can I make your move up in life that much more simpler? And then I think life will be a little more easier for you as a person. Because as you look at the people that God has placed in your life and you start identifying the gifts that they've been given, how can you help them understand their gifting? Instead of making it a problem, well, you shouldn't do that. I don't think you should do that. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Let's think about that for a moment. That statement right there, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Pump the brakes because you would do that if you were them. You know why? Because you would be them. We need to stop telling people, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Er, wrong. Yes, you would. You would do the exact same thing they were attempting to do because you are them. We need to really think about some of the things we say, but how can we help others understand their gifting? What's your focus in life? You, you answer that. What's your main objective in life? You got to answer that. Where are you headed in life? You have to pray and ask God for that. I can't give you that. I can't pull out of a hat and say, okay, this is the direction that you're going. Boom, go for it. No, you got to pray and ask God for yourself because he's given you the unique talent and skills and gifts to go in the direction that he's purposed you to go. So again, how may I serve you? How may I help you Understand the gifts and talents that God has placed in your life. Once you have identified your giftings, it's time to discover how you can use your gifts to serve others. Like I said in another podcast, you can't give anything to anybody that you don't have yourself. So if you don't have the mindset of serve, you don't have the mindset of service, you can't help anybody else in the area of serving. Now, as for me, I enjoy serving to a point, and I'm going to just be transparent. I enjoy serving others to a point. Even in my dad's church growing up, I was more of a person that wanted to help out in the background more so than stand up in front of everybody, even though I felt that God was calling me to a particular you know, area in ministry as I was young. But as I started growing up in that, I started realizing, okay, that might not be my role. That might not be my function. I was more apt to help. I would go in the kitchen. I'd cook. I'd serve. I'd clean. I would do all types of maintenance jobs around the church because that was my gifts and talents. I enjoyed working with my hands. Now, there are other people that didn't want to serve. They just wanted to be served. Okay, I don't think that's a gift or a talent. <laughs> that's just their way of attitude, and that's who they are. They want people to serve them. But I think as a leader in any capacity of work, church, community, if you are a leader, then you need to have an attitude of, which we talked about before, servant leadership. How can you serve others? If you don't want to serve others and you just want to be served, that's not a good leader. We need to identify those gifts and talents of others. If they're in the area of serving, help them to be servants. Help them to increase in their talents. As individuals, in the conjunction of other believers, how can we build them up? How may I serve you? God has not gifted each of us uniquely for our own benefit. 
Let me say that again. God has not gifted each of us uniquely for our own benefit. It's not for us. It's for the benefit of others. It's for the benefit of God. Use your gifts to serve and help others as you do. You'll discover that we are far stronger together than each person is alone. Better together. And I'm going to close with this. God, thank you that I am created uniquely. Help me to use my gifts to serve others. Help me to be a good steward of what you have given me. And grant that by my doing so, others might experience your love and grace. How may I serve you? This is Strength for Today's Man, Volume 60. You guys go out there, be good servants. Learn how to use your gifts and talents in a way that benefits God and benefits others. That's true service. I'm Malachi Mitchell. I look forward to seeing you again on the next podcast. You guys be blessed.